Welcome back. So, I want to demonstrate something to you really quick. Um, so I'm just going to type out a for loop here. Okay, so I'm going to take this for loop, and I'm going to just paste a new one here, and then run this program really quick. Okay, so you can see that the loops work. It printed um, the first for loop, it printed it out four times, and the second one it printed out four times. So they function just fine, but the thing I want to point out is why does this x int x not affect this int x? So like, look here, uh, control C. If I put int x here and then put another one here, it's unhappy because I've tried to declare uh, two variables both with the same name. I've tried to declare int x, which is a variable, and then I tried to declare another index which is another variable so you know you probably picked this up from the last video but I just wanted to be make sure because it's really important for this video that you understand that when you create a variables inside of a, a function like this they get destroyed by the time it gets to the end so in this case it'd be right right here uh, that int is destroyed so then when you go to make your next for loop with the same variable name, it's okay because this variable was already destroyed. So that's kind of this called the scope of the variable. You know, it kind of runs out of its scoop or scope, and then it it's no longer available. It's destroyed. It's gone. It doesn't exist anymore. Uh, so we're now going to talk about passing variables uh, by reference. So to demonstrate this, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go int. Um, I'm just going to use str like strength like in a video game I guess and uh, go dex like in a video game and then we'll go down here and we're going to make ourselves a static void uh, test I guess whatever doesn't really matter what these things are called <laughs> All right, now let's go equals 10, x equals 12. All right, now let's call our function. Oops, test, we'll go dr, dex. Okay, so what's going to happen here? We've uh, we've created a variable called strength or S str, and then another variable called dex, and then we called the function test, and we passed the variable strength and dex down into our function. And then in our function, we change the value of strength, and we change the value of dex. So what's going to happen when we run this? Well, for let me first of all let's go. Then let's just cut and paste this for convenience. Okay, so now we'll run the program. And 4, 5. So here we printed out um, the first two. The first time we printed out strength index, we got 4 and 5. Then we called the, called the, uh, the method and changed the values to 10 and 12. And then when you print it out again, it was still 4 and 5. So why didn't the values change? Well, that's to, to demonstrate that, I'm going to use my just notepad. And let's just make a box. 
and then say inside the box let's say we have like the letter 8 okay so this is what we're storing inside the box and then let's say we give the box a name let's say we name it like you know 421 or whatever it doesn't matter so there's two ways you could refer refer to what is inside this box uh, you could say the number 8 and talk about the number 8 or you could say the number inside uh, box 421 and this is kind of how computers store variables right you have you know slots in memory and there's you know there's uh, the memory slots have you know they're labeled and then they also have information inside the memory slots so that's what you've got going on here when we pass it through we're saying the variable inside the box well okay so it says okay well that's four so you're passing four through here and then you're passing five through here that's the variable inside the box right and then you're changing it and then what happens is it, it runs the program and it gets to here and everything inside of this method is destroyed this whole method gets destroyed when it when it gets to the end of it so all the changes made to the variables get destroyed remember we're not talking about the box that these are stored in we're talking about the actual variable which is four so now to further demonstrate let's do this and we're gonna get some errors here for a moment just bear with me now let's run the program now you can see that it actually changed the value of the variables to what we changed them to now why did it do that well this ref is reference and that's what they say um, passing by reference instead of saying the variable inside the box when you pass by reference you're actually saying the box itself so you want to talk about the box itself not what's inside the box and since you're talking about the box itself it's actually going to um, it's actually going to tamper with the actual the variable inside the box see if you pass it without the reference you just if you just pass them kind of normally I guess called pass by value um, what you're doing right here is you're actually creating new variables they are completely new variables that are being created so I hope that makes sense uh, it's very important that you understand this for moving forward um, you can see how if you don't understand this you could get some weird mathematical calculations uh, going on in your program so thank you very much and um, like and subscribe have a good day